Hey guys, what's going on? I just want to take a few minutes and uh, talk to you about what's going on with my channel and what's going on in iRacing. Um, I recently heard that they were going to be updating the uh, the truck for the NASCAR Truck Series on iRacing. And I decided at that time that I was going to go ahead and start running the Truck Series again because I never really put in a full season of it. I did maybe four or five races and, and became discouraged whenever I began dropping further and further back. But I now realize... That the reason I was dropping further and further back was not because I was doing badly, but because I was doing better and I was being put in the room with better people. Uh, I didn't know that at the time, but now that I do, um, I actually you know figured it out a long time ago. But I never took the initiative to go ahead and go back to the truck series. This season, I decided I was going to go back to the truck series. And I picked the worst possible time to do it because there's a big controversy right now with the new trucks for the NASCAR iRacing Truck Series. And that is that at Daytona, the draft model is pretty badly broken according to a lot of people. Drafting is very difficult to do anymore. Uh, the bump, bump drafting requires the person in front to either drag their brakes or lift. Um, otherwise, if you're both standing on the pedal, on the gas pedal, uh, your bumpers will never meet. <laughs> It's, it, yeah, it's that bad. And if you start in the right lane, you're pretty well screwed for the rest of the race because everybody in the left lane will fly past you in the first corner. And all the people who were behind you in your lane will dive down into the left lane as soon as there's room for them. It's that freaking bad. Side drafting doesn't work. Bump drafting doesn't work. Or at least it's changed drastically and a lot of people don't like it and I specifically don't like it I really got screwed I think I did 15 races at uh, Daytona this week no luck whatsoever or if I did have luck it was all bad next week is Martinsville I've done a practice race at Martinsville and it's a lot of fun and there's no problem with the truck there so enjoy this video guys it was very painful to make Did a really good job, man. Give those belts another tug real quick. Uh, good luck, guys. Pace cars on. Be ready. Green flag. Inside. Still there. In and out. Get up. Still there, door. Inside. One only. Still there. Still inside. Clear. Sorry about that. What the hell are you doing? No. Your car is kind of all over the place, Michael. Nah, that was a good thing I was going to drop down that, and there you go, you just throw stuff under the wall. You're... Hey, that was, that, that's nasty, man. What are you doing on the track? You, you don't drive like that, man. Wow, this is getting nasty up here. Hey, Brad, Mike, you're really broke. You watched the replay, and it just did a, a, a consistent turn from the turn that I was in. That's why I had no idea where I was on the track, I'm sorry. I've been having lag issues, that's why I was late to the room and everything, that's why I was making contact with the A. Sorry everybody. Trevor, you're bleaking really bad. You're in an Australian room, mate. You're the one blinking your ass. Yeah, number three, you're blinking, blinking out bad, mate. I'm, I'm just saying what what I'd do normally if I was in a, in a car or in a room where I was blinking due to the fact that I was having lag issues, I wouldn't run the race. You understand it wasn't necessarily lag, it's just my computer. What happened to me was a, a, like a screen freeze, you know, I wasn't blinking. 
I'm sorry it happened. Copy that. Usually something that doesn't happen, I usually, you know, finish and complete right through. Yeah, come for that. I can understand my frustration, though. I think I've done them one, one lap and I'm out of the race. I get it, and especially with some bullshit like that, like you got, you thought you got completely taken out. Right there, quarter. Still there. Please. Yeah, I, I, well, I'm pretty much dead, but obviously it wasn't intentional, I guess. I've lost some 1200 I, I rating already this week because of these, right? I think I'm just about done. And this being an Aussie server is probably making it a bit harder for everyone else as well. Yeah, I don't understand why the draft model's working so well right now. Like, me in the top four, we just wanted to turn number one at 197 miles an hour. Just when the race go to, just in this moment, the postman calling door. I'm asking. Out, hold your position. I know, man. I think we need to start putting like an 8 limit on racing or something. Uh, 1 come down into 17, more than what 17 come up into 1. Alright, now Brad, let's give a little belt and tug and get ready to go here. Right, to now. We gotta let him watch it, Brad. Alright, Bob, now let's get ready. 
Ready? Green flag. Yeah, one, one, one come, come down, down eight, no, go get him. 17. 17. On the bottom one up. Get the touch. What? Still there. Which is what made him, you know. Still there. Clear, clear. If 17 wasn't there, he still would have tagged four. Caution. My bad. Did you happen to get a look at your top clear on track? Right now? Get a good dry pull on that thing, get those tires cleaned off real well. Hey, your car's off. Are you ready? Green flag. Looking good, man. Might have walked on you on the front straightaway. Did you say something? Did a really good job, man. I believe we might have something for him today, boys. Working outside, outside. Inside. Still inside. Still there. Too wide inside. Inside. One car only. Still there. Still inside. Mm -hmm. Clear low. Five to go. Inside, inside. Clear on the bottom.
Come on, James, let's go. Inside. Clear low. One more time. Good race, everybody. Thanks for racing clean. Hi, buddy. Yeah, good it was a good run today. Let's keep track of what cans he uh, uses, and we'll try to get weights harder. We are putting gas in. Let's get rid of it. Ron, did you copy me on the weight? 